enzyme preparation, all the enzymes in your, in your body. You, you take the pancreatin, you take whatever else. If you eat a lot of pineapple, you take the, the bromelain. They are activated. They are kicked into action by the strongest fibrinolytic enzyme that you've got. I was talking to, to Dr. Carl Ronsberger, who owned an enzyme company. I was talking to him in, in Munich. We, we were having lunch. And I said, okay, so what's the most important enzyme in your preparation? Is it the pancreatin? Is it the this? Is it the that? He goes, no. It's none of that. It's the chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin? How can that be? You've only got one milligram of chymotrypsin per pill in this preparation. He goes, no, you don't understand. You can have as much of all of the other enzymes as you want. They will do virtually nothing until they have something, some synergist, to get them going, to kick them into action, and to direct their function. The strongest fibrinolytic enzyme in an enzyme preparation takes the lead to cause the other enzymes to work. So you can take just plain old pancreatin, 8X. You can find the strongest pancreatin you want. You can throw in the bromelain, you can throw in the, the papain, and unless you put in a substantial amount of a highly fibrinolytic enzyme on top of that, what you just took will go in one end, go out the other, and go to feed the fish. Throw in a highly fibrinolytic enzyme, and all of a sudden, all those other guys will work. Now, of all the fibrinolytic enzymes on the planet, serapeptase is the strongest. Serapeptase is made by silkworms. Think of what silk is. This butterfly uses the serapeptase to dissolve its way out of the cocoon so it can be born. It just secretes this stuff, and the silk just kind of sloughs away. You can take a piece of silk, hang it from top two ends, shoot at it, and the bullet will not penetrate through the silk. It will raise the silk, it will graze it, but it won't penetrate it. That's how strong silk is. Silk is stronger than any mammalian connective tissue, any mammalian scar tissue. So anything that will work on dissolving away silk will be a super strong fibrinolytic agent.